you need to understand one very important thing that insulin resistance and diabetes are closely related but they are not the same thing if you understand this and take action at an early stage you can save yourself having diabetes insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that helps the body to use sugar for energy insulin resistance is a condition where the body cells don't respond properly to insulin as a result the body needs more insulin to help glucose enter cells the pancreas tries to keep up by making more insulin imagine insulin like a key that open doors to cells allowing glucose to enter in insulin resistance these doors don't open properly which means glucose stays in the blood stream causing various health issues people with insulin resistance might have normal blood sugar levels at first but over time the pancreas might not be able to make enough insulin to keep blood sugar levels normal in contrast diabetes occurs when the blood sugar levels are consistently too high in today's video we will discuss about few skin signs of insulin resistance first in our list is acrocardons or skin tags acrocardons or skin tags are a small soft skin growths that become more common with age they are often associated with aging and obesity and can appear on parts of the body where there is friction between skin folds such as the neck armpit groin anus thighs and eyelids they can be skin colored or pigmented and can look like a cluster of skin tissue extending out from a tiny stem most skin tags are between 1 to 5 mm but some can grow as large as few centimeters skin tags are commonly associated with insulin resistance but it can be seen in other conditions also high level of growth factors particularly during pregnancy or in acromegaly having some types of human papilloma virus having a sex steroid imbalance and being overweight or obese next sign you should check is thick and dark colored skin around your neck and armpit region in medical term we call it acanthosis nigricans it is a skin condition that is most commonly caused by high blood insulin levels also known as insulin resistance it affects both males and females of all ages and people who are more than 40 years old have more chances to have this skin condition but remember this type of skin changes can be seen in many other conditions if you are taking oral corticosteroids or oral contraceptives you may experience this type of skin changes it is also associated with nicotinic acid lotion subcutaneous insulin and some hormonal therapy it can be seen in other conditions like systemic lupus erythematous jugren syndrome scleroderma and hashimoto's thyroiditis next important sign is androgenic alopecia it is commonly known as pattern hair loss and has recently been linked to insulin resistance this condition affects both men and women and it appears as a receding hairline or a hair thinning while genetics play a crucial role in hair loss the connection with metabolic syndrome is undeniable suggesting that early management of insulin resistance might also benefit your hair elevated insulin levels can increase the production of androgens which stimulate the sebaceous gland in the skin to produce more sebum sebum is an oily substance that can clog pores and can lead to acne outbreaks moreover insulin like growth factor 1 which increases in response to high insulin levels can also contribute to acne by promoting skin cell growth and further sebum production the result is often more pronounced cases of acne particularly in areas like face chest and upper back where sebaceous glands are abundant you should also look for psoriasis and vitiligo those skin issues are commonly associated with insulin resistance if you notice any of this skin changes it's important to consult a healthcare provider and get your insulin level checked managing insulin resistance involves lifestyle adjustments like balanced diet and regular exercise in some cases medications might be required to help control insulin levels so that's all for today hope you find this information helpful thanks for watching